Hey, it's Antti. I'm really happy to see that F-Stopper posted my uh, replication videos on their site. So let's do another one. And this time some of you guys said I should try to replicate this first man. So let's try it out. So let's do another replication, but of course if you like these videos that I'm producing be sure to subscribe my channel, put a thumbs up and comment and give me ideas what kind of movie posters I should try to replicate, but let's go straight into Photoshop and start doing this poster now. Alrighty, here we are in Photoshop, I have already loaded the first man poster here, so let's do a bit of analyzing. So. There's a guy, a side profile, kind of an edge light here. Um, the light is coming from this direction. Good, good lens flare. Some sparks flying. There's some movement. Uh, astronauts helmet. All the necessary elements for the astronaut movie. So let's try to figure out how we could do this by using stock images. Uh, okay, so let's extend the canvas image, canvas size. I'm gonna put the picture on this end and I'm gonna extend these to be, let's say, 2000 pixels wide. So there's our canvas. So first we need that picture. So I have already selected a couple of pictures that I would use for this. Uh, so from Adobe Stock I found this guy uh, picture of and let's start scaling him up first. Uh, so I need to flip the image, Command T. I right click and flip horizontal. So that, that goes this way. I will drop the opacity down so I'll see better. I'm gonna kind of uh, modify this to be the same, roughly the same size as our Ryan Gosling over there. I think it needs to be bigger even. So getting closer, even bigger. Now the eye is kind of in the same place and I mean roughly the same size and then let's drop it back here and let's find a place. So somewhere on that edge. I'm gonna bring the opacity back up. So here's our guy, the main area in a way. So I think we need to cut the face out. So I'm gonna do elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to draw a circle. So it starts from maybe around like here from the chin, actually a bit lower up over there and then goes to the forehead. Um, you can actually modify your selection later on also, so you can go to select and transform selection, so you can modify your selection. So I'm going to do that, kind of modify it slightly. And so there's my selection. And you just press the mask button, so it will cut out our guy out of there. So next up I would try to need to make that helmet thing maybe. So let's use what else that motor motorcycle helmet really fitting to this image. So I'm gonna do a really rough select subject cut out of that. And then make a mask out of that. I'm gonna drop it under our guy over here. And I will choose kind of the, if we see the poster here. This will be just representing in a way our helmet. I didn't find much of a good, um, like proper um, astronaut helmets. But this has a bit of the same kind of features uh, as the astronaut helmet, so I'm I'm pretty sure this will do just fine for this. I'm just trying to find a good kind of a location for. I think that's it. So 
I think we need to make it more dark. So I'm having this layer. On top of that, I will go levels and I'm up clicking this clipping mask. So now I'm affecting only this layer. So I'm making it darker, leaving some of those highlights. And maybe I'll push the highlights up. And so now you can see, even though it wasn't in a way uh, that kind of a real helmet still it looks kind of a cool astronaut ish helmet even though so what else we need to do so we would need to do a bit of a kind of the you can see that this can the, this kind of a edge it should start from here and then the wider areas uh, like edge lights edge here so let's choose actually our mask that we already have here. Um, so I'm command or uh, command clicking the mask. So that will gives me the selection back from here. And what I could do is just to make a faint like a white line around there. So let's do a blank layer and go here and right click and put stroke and let's do maybe a two pixels wide so now i have that kind of an edge over there um so it should go all the way somewhere around here maybe i will mask the stuff that i don't need so that should go somewhere around there just to get the um that bar going but now if i want to create that kind of a what is this kind of a i could try to use this the same thing i'm just going to rotate it many times and getting that kind of a i'm gonna mask it out but okay let's make a copy out of this and i will make i will scale and transfer but I'm gonna rotate it just slightly like that another copy and then rotate it more and another copy and rotate it one more time I'm kind of shifting it I'm not going to create precisely that kind of a thing, but I mean, just to get the idea what you can do. So three, th these three layers, select them all, command E to merge them in one layer. And then I'm gonna just mask out the stuff that I don't need over here. And I'm just going to put the opacity, the flow down and get that kind of the, how they vanish here a bit of a same kind of a look and feel in that and while I'm at it I just can actually merge down that apply so into that so now I have that I'm gonna erase that crap over there okay what else we need actually what I can do now is also cut the inner part of the the black as you can see I would need some lighter stuff over there so I can go to the man here quick selection tool just to go around here select those areas to put more black in it to get it cut out so I'm just selecting X uh, to make it black and then switching to black and option backspace just erases that area from the picture so what we have now here is that that kind of area so now we need to put some color in that area maybe some lighter colors in there but let's sample some colors in this picture over here and under our layer gonna be, be a brush and then I'm just going to paint a bit of those colors in 
what we have with this bit of an orange um, and some really bad bigger highlights here these kind of a sparky things just making a random thing over there but let's bring now the lens flare so I have already a lens flare here that goes here it goes on top of our guy I need to scale it up well, oh, like really big I can actually the blending mode should be screen so it's right about here and I think it might be even even bigger over here and then what we need to do is to apply levels for that I'm just gonna squeeze the blacks out of there so I will be left only but be sure to clip that to the only the low that layer so something like that that's good I'm gonna do a mask for this layer B for brush and just going to erase the excess those so now I need to colorize this flare so I'm gonna do maybe I will use hue saturation click the colorize push the saturation all the way up and then just find that kind of a shades you want from it something like that and as you can see there's a really yellowish part in the highlight here so we can do actually one more so I'll go to selective color and go to the whites and just push, push that yellow over there we can just see if we need to So now we have a bit of the same kind of a look in that. Um, what else? Um, I think I need to do a bit more work for there. So what I could do is now to start putting these um, flares or you know these um, moving things. We, I can colorize these later on, but let's do that first. Trying to find uh, color balance for this. So, okay, let's do some sparks. While I'm at it, I'm gonna put that background layer on so I'll have it black. So let's do some sparks. So I'm just selecting this layer that goes on top of that. Some sparks and that goes into blending mode screen. And I'm gonna just explode those into the corner here like that there's some sparks and I'm just going to mask out some of these away like those and then I would need all those the same sparks command J make a copy out of those and I'm gonna just shift it and rotate it horizontally and maybe rotate it somewhere around here and make it way much smaller somewhere around here like that and you can see that that's a there's a blur going on so you can go blur and motion blur and just find it that that kind of a movement on those particles like that that those need to be colorized to be more red let's add hue saturation on that and I'm just going to remember to clip it and I'm just going to find a bit more red and push the saturation also up Let's side to see if I can do better with the colorizing. Uh, I think this will do just fine. I'm just going to 
add more contrast to it something like that and then I'm gonna do levels also for them get more colors in there and uh, maybe I'll just scale it slightly <laughs> like that okay now I would need to do these streaks um, what I can kind of start with first okay let's take our um, sparks again and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna just choose in a way random areas L for lasso tool actually I would need to choose this lasso tool and I'm just cho choosing random light areas first here that looks kind of a might look cool okay let's do that and I'm just going to press command J so that will make those these kind of a areas from that so I'm gonna put this in the blending mode screen and then I'm gonna use levels for that I'm just going to exaggerate get more colors in them and then what I need to do is to filter blur and gauge uh, motion blur and then I can kind of go start doing these so I have already get some of those and let's scale it So this is a one way to do these kind of streaks. Again, you can kind of use the levels to get more colors in them. Uh, another way of doing is let's make a blank layer B for brush and I'm gonna sample these colors and I'm gonna do a rough, just to draw these, um, this kind of a getting highlights and these color colors in these there's a one flare there's another here some red here some here going across here actually i'm gonna do a lighter one over there maybe something here here and these can be actually in what whatever shape that you want the thickness is doesn't matter at that point so i'm just draw drawing these kind of a random stuff in here okay as you can see there's a layer and now again blur motion blur and you just go oh, like that to get these cool streaks different colors in them and again levels just to get more color contrast from this side and you start to you start to get the idea how you can do these kind of and if you want command T and and then warp so you can do a bit of a bending in them if you want them not to be straight and things like that and let's drop the opacity down alrighty let's start doing some color grading actually I would need to do a one faint line on this side too about this helmet so actually where is my edge where's my edge I think I should name my layers so I would find them somewhat easier I think it might be here make a copy out of that command T I'm just gonna flip it like that and I think it goes that direction from here like that I'm gonna erase everything else that I don't need like that that needs to be I'm gonna use color color colorize drop the 
so that needs to be kind of a reddish line like that so what I need to do is also this uh, piece here so what I can do is just make over here in one layer I'm just going to sample a darker color I'm gonna paint darker colors just to see how the this kind of a helmet would come from here and kind of it like that I'm just going to draw a really faint line of white in a way or a bit of separation okay getting close I think I need to do a bit of a color grading now um, especially for the guy so this part over here so I need to color grade the guy now so let's go on that layer this is here's our guy I'm gonna put on top of that levels and then I'm just going to see I'm just, I just need to drop the highlights in a way lower getting the same kind of in a way tonality in a way somewhat better uh, one thing I think the flare is doing a bit too much for the guy in a way where's our flare it's here yeah it, it's I think it's eating way too much of our contrast so I'll just see if I would need to get it more here's our levels I'm just going to actually make it more so I'm getting a bit more contrasty for that part over here okay now need to color grade this so first I will start with the guy um, Where's our guy? Over here. So... Doo -doo -doo. I need to put some more reddish tones in the skin tones. Selective color. Uh, white. So... Need to see where I kind of need these to be. I think that direction slightly more ready to the, these tones and then I need to put some more cyan bluish tones into the shadow parts and more cyan definitely and if you want to see the colors you just open up the blacks over here Just trying to find a bit of a, that similar colors to the shadows. Um, close enough. And I think I need to also grade the grade color grade the helmet here. I think I'll need to bring slightly the opacity up on the face. And then the helmet, it's here. And for that, selective color and the same stuff. Uh, choose with the naturals those tones has to be there I'm just needing to see how dark it has to be but you can see that the the tone starts to look the same in here um, I need to also do hold on where's my line Here's that front line, here's the back line. For that line, I'm gonna do a bit of color grading and I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna make a new layer and clip it to affect only that. I'm gonna sample maybe this kind of a hot light area here. I'm gonna just paint it. And I need a bit more warmer tones maybe over here even more lighter something like that over here that needs to be slightly lighter also 
Okay. Well, considering, I think that starts to be somewhat close and okay. So considering that I used stock images that wasn't even close uh, being an astronaut helmet or um, anything like it, I, I think I did somewhat decent job. It was really funny to experiment using a motorcycle helmet for this and how to kind of achieve those different kind of a moving particles and stuff like that. So the results so original picture from this and my result are this somewhat in the same area again and hopefully you learned something along line these these tutorials and if you like these kind of videos put a thumbs up comment give me ideas about my next um, retouching stuff and be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's been really fun to do these and really happy to see the channel growing. And as always, I'll be seeing you on my next video. Cheers.